everyone. So right now I am going to start some ribs for dinner tonight on my break. I'm going to put them in the crock pot and let them cook over a few hours. So I figured I'd just show you how it's done in the crock pot. The most important thing is to take off the membrane. It can be a pain in the butt, but trust me, it helps the ribs fall off the bone. It's really good. The main ingredient I have I use is brown sugar. As you can see, I have marshmallows. The brown sugar gets hard if you don't use it all the time, and the marshmallows help keep moisture in it. So I'm roughly gonna use one third, and everybody has their own preference on how to make it. I just Go with what I know my family likes. And my recipes aren't perfect, or my, my measure, measurements are per, aren't perfect. I'm just pretty much eyeballing it. So you wanna do maybe a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of garlic powder. It may mostly just depends on how well your family likes garlic. And I do, again, roughly a half a teaspoon of onion. We're not, I like onion, but my kids, not so much. So I don't put too much in. And I do only a little bit of paprika. Maybe like um, a quarter of a teaspoon. Like, like it's pretty much like a pinch. And I use Himalayan salt. It is very good, it's better, the better option. And I use roughly a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And pepper. I use like another half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. We don't like things too spicy. Just enough to pretty much give it flavor. It's gonna mix all this up. And just pat it on the back, rub it in a little bit, and flip it over, pat, pat the meat dry and don't be too shy on the front like really First put like a thin coat on so you can gauge how much after you do that you have and then start layering it on. Because you don't want to put so much on one side and then you run out and you're like, well crap. So do it like a light coat first and then even then start coating more on. That way it gets 
pretty even. Now, you can use a crock pot liner. I normally do, but I ran out. So, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna be messy, oh well. Um, but when you put this in the crock pot, you want the meaty side against the, the rim of the crock pot. See how there's the bones right there, and then there's more meat, I'm putting that on the bottom. See how it's in there? Now I'm gonna place my crock pot on, my lid I mean. And I'm gonna place it on low. I have to be back to work in about 25 minutes. So, and I won't come home, And it's so it's 10.50 right now. And I won't come home till about 4.30, 4, 4 4.45, in between there. So I'm putting it on low to cook all that time. The last time I made it, I put it on high and it literally fell off the bone. And yeah, that's awesome, but it was very hard to put it on the baking sheet to broil to caramelize the barbecue sauce. So I, I don't, yeah, I want it to fall off the bone good, but not to where I can't even pick it up out of the crock pot and put it on my cookie sheet. So we'll see how it is when I come home from work. Hi everyone. So it's after work and I am about to take the ribs out of the oven. Or oven, sorry, the crock pot. And like I said, I'm still new to the clean eating and the less processing. So I still have barbecue sauce. Yeah, I yeah. never. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tristan. Shush. I have never made barbecue sauce before. I'm sure I will try eventually. But actually, yeah, this. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the high fructose corn syrup and modified food starch, but everything else looks good in the ingredients. Um, but this is what I'm using. Careful, it's hot. The oh. Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. So I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to broil um, them for about five minutes to just caramelize the barbecue sauce. For those of you that don't know, I have two kids, so they, they're never quiet. Well, my oldest one is, my youngest one isn't. He'll be 16. Excuse me. So uh, normally you do about five minutes. My stove cooks a little fast, so I'm gonna check in about three minutes. So 
So the ribs are done. Looks like it. And I'm glad Ooh, I only put them for three minutes because my stove, like I said, tends to burn things, even though it's a brand new stove. I have tried um, fixing the temperature on it and it either doesn't get cooked or it cooks too fast and it gets burnt and not done in the middle, one of the two. So I didn't get a chance to work on the sides, kids, um, life of a single mom. So I am making fries and steamed broccoli with our ribs and one thing that's essential about being a single, single mom if you love to cook air fryer and an instapot i have both um i'll have to move the camera ready when we're ready to do the broccoli so you can see that right now i'm doing the the fries because they take longer i already cut some off but i just wanted to show you with one of the potatoes um you skin them for homemade fries you cut them long ways see and um make slivers and then you cut on cut those slivers in pieces see fries you can make them thinner thicker whatever you like So I got all my fries, Sweet and I'm going to use olive, extra virgin olive oil to just put a light coat on it. Time, time, even. And then I'm going to use my salt, my Himalayan salt, and pepper. Um, you can make, there's so many recipes online. I've made Parmesan fries before, and they turned out pretty good, but I'm still trying to get my kids just to eat my fries, because they love, um, McDonald's fries. So, since we're trying to stay away from all that, I'm trying to get them to adjust it to my fries. And with salt and pepper... It turn it's pretty good that way. And then you just mix it over, try and get all that salt and pepper around. Um, I'll probably put a little bit more salt on, just a little because I don't think I got enough on. But you basically want to do half a teaspoon to a teaspoon and I just go with what I feel you know I don't want to put too much salt but I want to make sure salt gets on all of it because we all know with kids french fries if it doesn't taste good they definitely won't eat it And then I'm going to put them in my air fryer. You want to spread them out. You don't want them overly layered on. <laughs> so... This is what it looks like. Stop. Oh, wait a See how I spreaded it out for the most part? Now I have a stop. I have an option for fries. So I can just go over there. Now I'm going to flip halfway through and more than likely I won't, will only have to do this for 10 minutes. Normally I do, um, normally I do 400, um, degrees, uh, like six minutes on each side. That's what I normally do. I'm going to try it with this option because I always thought 450 was a little much, but I'm going to try it with the um, automatic function, see what it does. 
Now, this is my Instapot. It's not brand name, but it works just as good. And I got one of the accessories, um, a p accessory bundle from Amazon. And I'm going to put some of my broccoli in there. Well, you want to put a cup of water first to ste steam vegetables. And then you put some broccoli in there. Put as much as you want. I know my kids won't eat a lot. I'm still trying to get them used to veggies. Tristan likes some veggies, but not too much. And Riley likes broccoli with cheese. But I'm going to have them try um, this way. Salt steams with salt and pepper. Okay, I have to put you. So we're going to put pressure. We want to keep it at medium. I've tried high and it doesn't work. Keep the custom and timer. We're going to do four minutes on medium. Now, when I've done broccoli on high, I'm still new to everything um, steaming in my Instant Pot. I've done it twice. And I tried it different ways to different times on high because that's every recipe I find is high. I noticed by the time I sit at the dinner table, my broccoli is kind of cold. So I am putting it on medium and cooking it for four minutes to see if that will help keep them warm longer. Because I don't like eating cold broccoli. I really don't. Um, when everything is done... I'll come back on. Hi everyone. So dinner is done. Um, I took the broccoli out of the steamer and just put salt and pepper on them and boom, they're done. Stop. Um, so Riley over here, why is that light on? Um, who it just took a bite of fries, which is his favorite. It, I see on me. Okay. Let me take off the light. Okay. Take a bite of the ribs. Mom always makes the best ribs. An hour. Yes, rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> I'm going to get 90 million out of 10. Now, broccoli is his newfound um, favorite foods that he'll eat. And he's never had it with salt and pepper. Usually it's cheese. Stop, Tristan. Amazing. It's One to ten. Nine infinity. <laughs> so you can eat it with salt and pepper. Yeah. Tristan, he's liking the fries now. You finally like the fries? Mm -hmm. Can we try the ribs? I will get the fries. Can we try the ribs? I'm going to give this 100 out of one. Okay. That's going to be processed to take, but I'm going to take a bite. Video, mom makes the best food ever. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> I would read it, I'd say an eight. It's still, oh God, Tristan, stop, you're choking me. It is still a work in progress. Um, I did put a half a half a cup of apple juice in that I forgot to mention. Yeah. Tristan Michael, stop. Um, but it's getting there. It's better than what it used to be. I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy your night. And uh, yeah, I need to get these kids to eat. Bye. Bye.